What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of SmackDown. A lot of people were looking forward to this particular episode to see what Seth and Cody were going to say to The Rock and Roman Reigns in their response to their night one tag team match. And uh, before the show went on air, uh, The Rock dropped a 10 minute promo on his Twitter, basically, talking trash about uh seth and cody i thought it was entertaining and it definitely hyped me up to see what they were gonna do for tonight's show so at the beginning of the show they essentially were showing i guess you could say like little i wouldn't call them vignettes but you know how they show people walk into the arena like they were showing footage of people walking to arena and getting there they were showing the rock and roman getting to the arena and seth and cody and both of them had security team by their locker room uh nick aldis had got these jag securities to be there just in case some shenanigans were going to take place which i like that element of this could be a, vol uh, a volatile situation so let's get air security by each of these guys locker rooms seth and cody has some security rock and roman has some security um so i like that the the aesthetic of it so before we get to the main event this was the last segment of the show uh nick alders goes to seth and cody to get them out their locker rooms he walks in he doesn't see them he asks the jag security hey where is seth and cody they don't know and i like that because i thought they were going to do something with it but they really didn't so uh roman comes out there does his long ass entrance as you expect then the rock comes out there the lights go out and on the titan tron you see a whole bunch of lightning hitting like you know not hitting anything but just the the effect of it on the screen and they had the sound uh you know the sound system playing like the lightning it looked pretty cool and then you saw the rocks logos with the red eyes i thought that was a nice touch that they added to his entrance the lights go out and then you see the lightning and then you see the rock and his logo i thought that was cool i, I like that just that addition to his entrance now that he's more or less a heel i thought that was very entertaining um just just that little bit it didn't have to do too much and it made his entrance that much more special so he comes out crowd is cheering because it's the rock even though he's a heel crowd is cheering and um at this point we're we're trying to see what's about to happen um i want to say roman does his normal shtick but then he says instead of acknowledge me he says acknowledge us He's talking about Roman and The Rock. I like that. And then Cody's music hit. And smoke and all the other stuff is going at the entrance ramp. But then you see Cody coming through the crowd with Seth Rollins like they like they did, you know, back in the day through the, uh, um, with The Shield. And I was like, that's a cool little, little gesture, like a cool way, I guess you could say, to get into the arena. But... I was expecting something different because that's their way of tricking security. You just go through the crowd. And then security, the JAG security still came out to meet them at ringside. So I don't know if that was a way to nod at the shield, like a little reference to the shield, or that was a way to get around security when security still met you at ringside. And security didn't even get in the ring. I thought they were going to split the ring up with security there. But security didn't even get in the ring. They were just ringside. So Seth and Cody, they they would come through opposite sides. But and before the commercial break, they came through one aisle through the crowd. And then after the commercial break, they were separated. I think the commercial break placement was kind of miscued. I think you could have cut up uh, the Rock and Roman's entrance just a little bit um to kind of make the pacing a little bit better uh, i definitely have some gripes with how the pacing was because it took them and we timed this damn near 10 minutes just for it was like eight minutes for the rock and roman just to get into the ring so that ate up so much time um but they finally get into the ring and whatnot and cody starts off a little bit too diplomatic for me i know that's his character i wish he wouldn't he's like i know we got to take time to really bask in this all four of us in this ring right now we gotta really bask in this moment i'm like man fuck all that he been talking about your dog he called your dog a shithead pack him up 
Anywho, so Cody, I like what he was doing at the beginning, trying to be, trying to, I guess you could say, be messy. He said, all right, so I, I heard your challenge, Rock, but I, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Do you have that authority? Do you have that power to make that match? I mean... After all, you did just acknowledge Roman Reigns. So I would think you would have to ask him first to make that match. I like that. That was that's what I need more from Cody. Uh, just just to, to kind of piss both of them off. Kind of build that dissension. That's what I would be doing. I would try to build the dissension because I know y'all both have huge egos. And I know y'all want to feel like y'all are are the best in in the bloodline family so i would play that up yeah you're working together now but do you are you really sure he has your back like you think you do that's what i would do and i thought that was the route they were going with but then the rock cuts him off and like shut your ass up and then he tells some self problems to shut your ass up before you even say anything so i'm like bro i didn't even say nothing and then at that point Rock really just reiterates what he said last week. That's all he did. The stuff that we heard on the promo segment that he did on Twitter, like the little segment he had on Twitter, obviously it was more trash talk, but here it was literally what he said last week. And I like when Seth Rollins interrupted him. He's like, man, will you shut your ass up? Damn. Damn. Like, be quiet, bro. You're, you're a guy going through a midlife crisis. And I'm like, there we go. That's what I like. When Seth Rollins took them glasses off and got serious, that's what I was, I was really, I was really rocking with. Like, I, I like that. So when he said, shut your ass up, like, damn, you're, at, you're going through a midlife crisis. We get it. You was great back then. But right now, this is our time. So to answer your damn question, yes, we accept. So I'm like, all right, cool. But then Roman does that little sarcastic laugh like, wait, what? So then he spins what Cody said earlier to the Rocky like, really, bro? This is this is what you're going to do? You're going to let this cross dresser speak for you? <laughs> Got this nigga set the cross dresser, bro. He said, You gonna really let this cross dresser speak for you? Hey, look, when it's all said and done, when I beat you at WrestleMania, it's done. Your story will be done. You will never finish it. It's over. Okay? It'll be done. And then The Rock interjects, and this is when The Rock starts getting disrespectful when he starts pushing his power. He said, I had it enough from both of you guys. At the end of the day, I am at the board. I am at the top. I am y'all bosses. I will do whatever it takes to, to do what I have to do for our family. I will get rid of that title. I will make sure that you never finish your story. And he ta starts talking about their fathers, you know, their grandfathers looking down upon them and being proud of, of the rock and Roman. And I knew I was like, oh. He's going to bring up his father again. You know, that's a quick way to trick a Cody. Bring up his father. And then he brought up uh, Cody's father. And we started talking about the children he's had. And then he says the big line. He says, your father's not looking down upon you. If anything, your father made a mistake. He said, you were a mistake. And that's when Seth was about to do something. But Cody told him, like, nah, I'm good. Cody picked up the mic like he was about to do something. And then he smacked the rock right across the face. And then once he did that, crowd goes ooh and all. And he throws up the mic. And they cut to black. That was it. Now, here's the thing. One of the homies sent, sent me the clip of what happened after the show. So if you guys want to see that, it's on my Twitter right now. So if you guys want to see what happened after the show, uh, someone was recording the footage, but I'm going to just make it very simple for you. What happened after the show was absolutely nothing. They stood in the ring. Crowd was electric. They just stood in the ring, probably talking shit. And then the Rock's music hit. And then the Rock and Roman left. That's literally what happened. They did nothing. So I know a lot of us was disappointed 
But I think we would have been disappointed if we saw what happened anyway because they absolutely did nothing. This is why I think it would have been better if you had the security in the ring and then that happened and then you have the pull apart. That would have been better. They were outside the ring. Nothing happened. So we didn't miss nothing. It's just the way they formatted it, it looked like we may have missed something. But once The Rock said you were a mistake, uh, you know, you were a mistake by your father. Your father made a mistake in having you. Once he put that out there, you knew Cody was going to slap him. I, I think it was kind of, it was, it was telegraphed in a sense. I, I would have, I know you want to hear him say something disrespectful that warrants the slap or whatnot. And I get it. It's just, it seemed a little bit telegraphed. That's the route they were going. Granted, it was cool to see Cody actually lay up the smack if at least on the rock. So I will take that. That's all I really wanted. I really wanted it to be just, hey, we accept Patrick to the face, but we got the slap. That's what they've been kind of teasing and, and predicting. So I'm glad we got that. Um, it's just, I wish the security was in the ring to give the image of chaos. Because if someone slaps you, like the rock slap Cody, everybody that was in that area was trying to hold back Cody and Seth that was good but when Cody slapped the rock the rock sat there Roman sat there and nobody did nothing we didn't see it but nobody did nothing it's implied if you didn't if you don't check on social media nothing happened so I don't know I don't know that's that's just one of those type of things where it's like ah uh, mm. Just having this, the JAGs in there would have added a better visual. But we'll see how things go. But things are heating up. I definitely enjoyed the segment. I just wish it was paced better. But uh, just commercial wise. But I enjoyed the segment. I need Cody to really amp up that aggressiveness. Keep that aggressive side going. I'm all for that. I like it when Seth Rollins is more serious. And I would like a pull apart brawl. At least on the go home show for SmackDown. Doesn't have to be now. On a go-home show for WrestleMania, I need a pull-apart brawl. I think that would be perfect to really get us hyped up and we go from there. So it'll be interesting to see what they have to say going forward. It'll be interesting to see what The Rock does because he did get slapped and he's been talking like he's the boss and he runs things. So we're going to see what happens. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this segment? Uh, what do you guys feel like the segment could have been done to make the make it better or do you feel like it was perfect the way it is but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace